Protecting frontline health care workers from the spread of COVID-19 is the motivation behind a study that University of Chicago's Dr. Jayanth Pinto is hoping will answer questions about how the virus is spread. The whole goal is to find out something about the disease process. How does this process interact with our body? How does it interact with the environment such that we could protect uh, the people who are at highest risk? Because the virus spreads through the air, researchers have set up small monitors in COVID-19 patients' rooms to measure viral material. The hope is to learn about distance. The six feet rule is based on decades old studies for other diseases like TB. We are gonna do sampling at different distances for the patient. So we can say in the worst case scenario in the ICU, what distance um, do we find more virus in the air and what do we find less virus in the air? The study also measures how infectious the virus is as it travels through the air. Is it the patients who are very sick early in their disease course? Does that virus in the air go down when we treat them? Does it go down with time? Are there certain patients who have more virus than other vi that put out more virus? And does the virus in the air correlate with the amount of virus in a patient's nose or mouth? All questions Dr. Pinto and his team hope to answer and use on a widespread scale that could impact everything from social distancing guidelines to guidance for workplaces and schools. Early results are expected by the end of July. By the time the entire study is complete, doctors hope to work with up to 20 patients. At University of Chicago Hospital in Hyde Park, Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.